share all that. Oh my gosh, y'all can't believe we are at the last episode of Baddies Caribbean. Like, I really enjoyed recapping this series. And, you know, <laughs> we can talk about that at the end, you know, so yeah. Let's just get into this episode. Well, y'all know why? This finale episode, I feel like it was kind of awkward. It was kind of weird. And I feel like they kind of set it up for Diamond the Body to be the villain because, yeah, I just feel like it was kind of weird. Like, so it starts off with the girls splitting up. Some girls go to a charity event and, well, the OG girls plus Asian doll go to you know a charity event and the other girls go explore santa domingo with biggie it just seemed like the girls that go explore they're having a good time they're laughing and dancing and blah 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 but then anna and biggie get into it over some leaves y'all let me just say this y'all know biggie does not play about her marijuana okay so the fact that anna even had the or the audacity to ask her for a leaf was just like you know biggie do not play about her weed man and it's just y'all the way her and meatball's face was just glowing in that store was just like what do you want to buy i was just like oh my gosh like <laughs> and y'all honestly it's just so funny to me like i'm not laughing at them i'm laughing with them like y'all just well but i think it's funny but y'all like their their love for weed is just hilarious because yeah the way they were in that store <laughs> and so they go back and forth over the leaf and it's just like they honestly just have a sister argument and it's like the fact that that was even recorded and they tried to portray it as biggie and anna argue, arguing was stupid it's just like anna's just like you never want to share with me and biggie's just like i don't want to share my leaf with you and it's just like okay like why did we have to see this because what are what because what did they do five seconds later dance together so it's just like why are y'all showing us this what pissed me off the most about this episode was the charity event like <laughs> y'all <I> <laughs> why the f did they why do they think it's a good idea to just pass out money and think that that's a good idea. And it's, it, regardless of where you pass out money, it'll be chaotic, but they're passing out money in a poor community. People were giving them their kids in exchange for money. That's sad. That's sad. That is sad. And the fact that they were out there, you get, huh, and they were just like, oh, this is dangerous. Yes, you're in a poor country passing out money. Did you think they were just gonna stand in a single foul line and just take this money? No, because if somebody come, like, honestly, no lie. I, I wouldn't trample somebody, but yeah, I would make my way to the front of the crowd if some people were passing out free money. Like, are they stupid? And that just pissed me off so much because I, I really thought it was going to be a cute charity event. They were going to go to the women's center and blah, blah, blah. But y'all seeing people give these girls their kids in exchange for money was crazy. <laughs> like, what? And like I said, the thought that when they flashed the money, it was, and y'all, why did, why did they not go to the, the bank in America, the a bank in America, take that money, put it in a check, take that check with them, bring, yeah, and bring the check to the women's center and say, hey, we have X amount of dollars for you guys. Distribute it how you want. Instead of them just standing in front of their van and saying, stand in line, we have money and think that like i hope i'm not the only 
one that thought that was stupid. Like, y'all let me know if y'all thought that was stupid because I, I personally thought it was stupid. So we flash back to the other girls and Anna and Nunu are arguing. And y'all, this Anna and Nunu beef is so played because of the fact that what Anna haven't, Nunu haven't beef with Anna. Cause it seemed like Nunu got beef with Anna. Anna developed beef for Nunu when Nunu had beef with Anna. But this all started because Nunu has beef with Anna. If y'all get what I'm saying. Like, yeah. Anna said she was talking to production and she was venting, blah, 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 blah. And Nunu jumped in the conversation. Nunu said, also said that she heard Anna talking to production she heard her name therefore she jumped in the conversation and it's just like you hearing your name you jumping in the conversation it's like okay cool but it's just like girl i honestly feel like she should have stayed out of it because it's just like girl i honestly just don't understand it's like her beef with Anna started is because she jumped into a situation that has something to do with Anna and Mariah. So it's just like your beef is so played because you jumped in something that's not even relevant anymore. And now it's new beef over something stupid. It went from you saying something about your baby daddy, which Anna says she doesn't even know and claims she doesn't even know you. And now it's just like, now it's like, you have my name in your mouth and that, 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 that. It's just like, girl, you, you said you have a 16 year old son. Like, this this is what you're arguing about? You're arguing with a 16 year old. <laughs> so it's just like, yo. So to me, it's just like, their beef, I can't get with it. Like, I'm not excited to see them fight. It's, at this point, it's just like, at this point, I just want Nunu to win the fight. I want Nunu to win and beat Anna up so bad so she can feel so good and victorious so she can leave this conversation alone. Because Anna Mac, regardless, if she win or lose, she's going to be her. She's going to talk shit. She's going to do whatever. But I feel like if Nunu wins, she's going to feel victorious and leave it alone. Feel like she did her big one and just, yay. But yeah, regardless if Anna win or lose, I feel like she's going to be still her regardless. So yeah, I just hope, please, Nunu win this fight, bro. Cause I'm I'm so tired of seeing it. I'm so tired of seeing them go back and forth. It's not cute. It's not cool. I mean, like, ew. But yeah, after that, the rest of the girls get together and uh, Biggie takes them to this historical monument for her country. She showing said this is a piece of her. And then she shows them fireworks and it's all cute. And they do batty batty shot a clock in front of Santa Domingo and it's all cute. And it, it's just a beautiful moment with them. And do we think it's gonna stay this way? No, it didn't, because we get to the baddie baddie dinner and everything goes downhill again. So the girls do dinner and basically it's the girls outro. And with their outro, I'ma just say, you know, how I felt about them throughout this whole season, you know. Just to tie it all together. So Kiva goes first and she basically just says that she enjoys herself, you know. She said one thing she had a problem with was to sneak in, but she said she had to sneak some somebody, but she said it's honestly no beef. It is what it is. But she honestly said she not gonna miss nobody besides Natalie. And honestly, when it comes to Kiva, I say what? Wait, is it 179 or 169? What? One out of 10. <laughs> One out of 10, I'm gonna give her like a five. You know, I feel like she came in, fought for camera time. I really didn't like it, but I liked her fight with, I liked her the last episode and that's all I can say about her. And I like the fact that she's not holding any grudges and she's not being annoying. So yeah, she said she did what she had to do. She not gonna miss any other girls. And it's just like, good. Because she was kind of like, like I said, she really didn't get much camera time, but the camera time she did get, I was kind of like, ill. But the fact that she 
I liked her the last episode. She said there's no beef and she had a good time. It's just like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Next we have Nunu. She said she enjoyed herself. Her and Anna have another back and forth. And she said that she's gonna get her one with Anna at the reunion. And to me, it's just like, please, thank you. And like I said, I hope she wins. And afterwards, she just drops this whole thing and that I'm not ever, do not ever, have to see her on reality TV again because honestly y'all honestly like one out of ten one I honestly found her kind of annoying like I wanted to like her when she first came on but when she started doing the most and then the whole Antonio Brown thing it's just like I wanted her to show herself but maybe that's all to her and it's just like cool if your whole personality is jumping in other people's business and being Antonio Brown's baby mama it's like that's cool it's not something I like so I give you a one and, it, and it's just like if she beat up Anna it's like I'm gonna be happy for her am I gonna like her no but it's just like I'm glad she enjoys herself on the show so yeah good for her next we have Tinkerbell and y'all no lie one out of ten I give Tinkerbell a solid six. I didn't like her at all in the beginning, but eventually she grew on me. Something I just can't get with what I'm about to and what I'm about to get into is just her fake dramatics. You know, it's cringe. Like if it was funny, if it came across more funny, a lot of people were like, people called me a hater because I was just like, she's not funny. Somebody was just like, bitch, she is funny. I was just like, oh, okay, well. <laughs> oops my bad still don't think she's funny btw but yeah <laughs> the theatrics is kind of like but sometimes i kind of found her funny and i liked her raw moments and you know yeah and her she says she enjoys herself but she's hurt by the whole her and meatball thing and she stands up and she's like deja meatball <laughs> miss blackwell and it's just like she's trying to cry but with no tears coming out it's just kind of like getting to me but she was just like after this whole thing like she's done with meatball and meatball talking about girl we gonna be good after this and tinkerbell's like bruh no like i'm good on you tinkerbell says she asked meatball to do one thing and that's not embarrass me on camera and meatball coming in here and playing she basically insinuated too that meatball was playing for the cameras because she was like nobody else at this table knows her but meatball and meatball doing all this and be aware like it's kind of throwing her off guard because it's like girl you know me like why are you acting like this but y'all what i can say is like in the beginning i didn't even know they had this bond because tinkerbell was always with slim and um idea so it's just like at the beginning like yeah i didn't even know they were cool so i was kind of blaming tinkerbell at first but then i saw hella weirdness and meatball and i was just kind of like yeah i can't rock with it tinkerbell also says that you know if the chain is what costed meatball's friendship with her and she'll give it back to natalie and meatball was like i don't want you to do that i feel like we both deserve it tinkerbell was like no no because if you felt like that then we would not be in this and y'all the dramatics was just killing me it was just like I, I get passion but it was just like it just seemed so forced and like i said it was no tears and anything and it was just kind of like like i really felt like i was just watching a tyler perry play like like the acting is good though and that's the thing it's not funny but if she like if tinkerbell was like in the tubi movie drama that i promise you on everything i watch it like i feel like she'll be good at that avenue so yeah but and i honestly understand with meatball because it's just like girl you wanted to play on camera you think we about to go home and kick it and be friends like nah you wanted to play on camera keep that same energy off camera so yeah tinkerbell she grew on me you know like i liked the i liked her as the show progressed i'll say that i like the rest of the show progressed so yeah one out of ten i give her 
like a solid six, you know. I'm gonna give her, I'm gonna give her a tap on IG, you know, and you know, stalk her page from time to time, see what she doing. <laughs> then y'all, we go to Meatball, and y'all, no lie. Meatball is not one out of 10. I'm gonna give Meatball a solid three. Like, I wanted to like her, Cause it's just like oh my gosh everybody meatball's gonna be on there she's so funny she's so cool and it's just like you know it just really didn't give that it's like i saw maybe they just portrayed all the bad sides of her all the weird moments because that's what i saw because especially when this whole tinkerbell thing happened because it's just like and then y'all tell me why oh We'll get to that. We'll get to that. Yo, and then it's just like her and this whole obsession with the chain. It was just like, girl, like, yeah, Meatball. Yeah, she talking about she enjoys herself. And she even tried to address Tinkerbell talking about, yeah, we gonna be good. And Tinkerbell is like still saying like, girl, I'm not about to talk to you after this. What are you not understanding? And yeah, Meepo also said she felt like she was the baby and whatnot. And y'all, I can honestly tell that she felt like that. Like, she really was getting babied on this show. Or she acted like she was getting babied on this show. And it's just like, maybe she forced them to baby her on this show for her doing all her temper tantrums. She was like, the girls were wishy-washy. They did things for camera time. And it's like, girl, didn't you throw temper tantrums and scream and cry and pull knives out for camera time but like whatever then dtv goes and she says she enjoyed herself that she loved it she lived for it and if anybody has a problem after the show comes out then she can deal with it when they get to the reunion and yeah i'm guessing she delivered that because she as we can see, she definitely did get dealt with at the reunion. So, yeah. Um, yeah, um, DTV, her ranking, 1 out of 10, I also give her a 6. Didn't like her in the beginning. She's a troll, but her, she was one of the reasons why this show was kind of interesting because of the fact that she was a troll you know she fought she fought for other people you know she did you know she was annoying yeah so it's like i feel like she was a essential part in this season so it's like yeah i really do give her a six i really do feel like she was um good for this season and i hate that you know she got into it with zeus because i really feel like they would have bought her back and have her be this annoying troll villain character because she liked it so much and the thing is the fact that she's still trolling on tiktok and instagram etc after this it's just like girl when is enough enough then tosiki goes hey y'all tosiki speech it's just like <laughs> my thing about tosiki like i said like one out of ten, I give her a five. It's like, it just, she just, I don't know, her personality is just, I know how to fight. You know, like, her main personality. It's like, they saw her give advice, and we saw a good size of her, and that's, you know, and that's where my one through five comes from. But I can't give her a full, like, ten, because it's just like, ooh, like, I know how to fight. Like, her even in her speech saying, like, oh, y'all don't even know how to fight like i fight and do any damage so because of that i don't even know what we can't get along because not like y'all traumatize people by fighting like i do and it's just like like girl we get it you know how to fight but it's just like why like other people can't fight and get their shit off because they not knocking people's teeth out like damn like maybe i just want to do a little pow pow to somebody's face and yeah honestly maybe i don't want to knock other people's teeth out it's just like honestly her whole speech it didn't give like yeah yeah like yeah we should all just get along because we don't know how to knock everybody's teeth out it was just like sapphire 
said she enjoyed herself and that she know people judged her and blah 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 and you know she's glad she came in here by herself and that everybody welcomed her with open arms and honestly sapphire was kind of besides her bianca thing she was kind of irrelevant this season so one out of ten i give her a five as well no lie she had the pencil and the paper but honestly she didn't do anything with it not like she was actually going to people like oh i heard what like she literally just had a prop just to have a prop like she didn't really do anything with it and it's like what did she do other than that she fought bianca yeah okay so yeah beyond i mean sapphire i give her a five it's just like her looks gave her confessionals you know were cute so yeah but sapphire she kind of wasn't there so it's like i honestly don't want sapphire to come back for another season yeah so yeah no like next jayla goes and y'all one out of ten no i give jayla a seven um i feel like Jayla said she was gonna give BG14 Jayla and it's like no lie she kind of gave it as her 30 year old self like <laughs> and I feel like her confessionals were cute like she, you know I feel like she got out there she fought Callie you know Gretchen and Biggie and you know she she helped Meatball you know she was there to give her little speeches to the people I mean to the girls that needed it like baby and meatball or whatever so I really wouldn't have an issue with Jayla coming back if she keeps that same energy I would like to see Jayla fight less if she does come back for next season you know because I'll be talking crap about Jayla giving her speeches but honestly some, somebody gotta Natalie can't do her job somebody at least gotta do something to calm somebody down okay like Sapphire's not gonna do it because yeah that OG's not gonna do it yeah Tasiki's not gonna do it so yeah don't bring them back like if Jayla does come back I hope she does fight less you know but yeah one out of ten i gave jayla a seven biggie goes and you know one out of ten i give biggie like a six i like biggie well honestly i kind of give yeah i give biggie like a six like at first like first episode like i like the times where biggie's like cat well standing on business but not playing victim like us knowing Biggie can't fight is like I just expect her to defend herself but when she's playing victim when she's talking crap and getting mad when she's get hit I don't like that when she's instigating stuff and then being mad when she gets called out for instigating stuff I don't like that but when Biggie's defending herself and she's just big Dominican big Dominican having fun and doing that I like that Biggie but when she's on her BS then no but yeah Biggie says she enjoys herself she liked that she was able to be home and she she also gives Roly a hug and she says she was she's happy she was able to at least have a one good season with Roly and they hug and everything and it's just like oh because y'all it really does did seem like Biggie really wanted to be Roly's friend and Roly wanted to be Biggie's friend as well like it really did seem like they wanted to be friends but they were just caught up in a BS so you know I'm glad they made up then Anna goes and Anna gets emotional she was just like you know this was honestly a good distraction from what she was going through with her face so she had fun she's happy that you know she got to go to drpr and blah 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 and as she's talking nunu says something but i'm glad they didn't engage in it and a one out of ten i give anna a seven i like anna and it's just like i think she it I think she is the youngest on the show. And it's just like, if Anna were their age and she was acting the way she was acting, I wouldn't like her. But it's just like, Anna even said in her outro, she want to be nicer. She don't want to have to fight um, every time. And it's just like, I feel like Anna got plenty of time to like, you know, just be, just make these mistakes, be young and turn. Like she got time to learn how to not fight, you know? But it's like, I think Anna's funny. She a crash out. So I can't give her a full 10, but sometimes it'd be funny. So it's just like, yeah. <laughs> 
I like on I'll, I'll give her a seven. I'll give her a seven. Y'all, I can't believe I miss Callie. Okay, Callie says she enjoyed herself, but she also calls some of the OGs out for being bullies. And Natalie and um Jayla get offended. Natalie's just like, oh my gosh, I'm not a bully. And it's just like, Natalie, I would like, Natalie's an instigator. Yeah, Natalie's a real instigator. She throws shit, holds her hand. So it's just like, yeah, Natalie, you're a bully. She calls Jayla a bully. Jayla was just like, oh, I'm not a bully. I stand on principles and blah, blah, blah. And it's just like, Jayla and the whole thing with Gretchen and Callie, it's just like, girl, you know you could have let that go. But it's just like, Callie, she said she enjoyed herself too. And it's just like, one out of 10, And Gretchen was kind of, you know, I don't, yeah, but and then she didn't do anything. Yeah, I'm not gonna say she didn't do anything, but it's just like, I don't know. I'm, Kelly wasn't really someone I kind of paid attention to because she wrapped her whole personality off of protecting Gretchen. So it's just like, yeah. Okay, Mariah goes, and honestly, y'all know I'm not the biggest Mariah Lynn fan. Like, so yeah, one out of 10, I still give Mariah like a three. Like one thing I can say is Mariah, she just, she just defend herself. She's staying on business, but it's just like, she's just annoying y'all. Like, I'm sorry, like she just annoying. And I always felt like she was annoying throughout the other seasons too. And it's like, she would be less annoying if yeah, like girl, fight less, talk out more, don't be in other people's business, don't instigate stuff. It's just like, as the, if these OGs wanna keep going on, as the show goes on, either, either they leave or they need to progress. Cause it's just like, girl, we've been seeing you fight on TV, instigated and doing stuff since loving hip hop. We tired of seeing it. Asian Dog goes, she says she enjoys herself. And honestly, I, Asian Dog was barely there. Like after her thing with Mariah, it's just like, she just popped in and out. So it's just like, I don't even wanna comment on her. It's like, I liked her fight with Mariah, but it's just like, it seemed like that's all she did. Rolly goes and she says that, you know, this was a growth moment for her. She had fun. It's just like, honestly, Rolly for baddies but like I said I wish she would fight less too because it's like girl you've been on Zeus since blah 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 but if she still want to keep but I honestly do feel like Rolly is a good villain you know she just the OG villain like I like her in that role but it's just like I would like to see her play another role on it yeah Oh my gosh, y'all, as I'm sitting here editing this video, I'm like, damn, I forgot about Scotty. And I really hope I ain't forget about anybody else. Like, it's just so, it was just so many people on this cast. But yeah, y'all, so Scotty said that um, she enjoyed it. She definitely said the girls were crazy. And y'all, one out of 10, I really give Scotty like an eight. Um, I really do feel like she was a she played a good voice of reason this season in that she wasn't all up on Natalie and yeah she looked good her confessionals were good and even though Scotty you know she not a fighter we just gonna say that so but it's just like yeah I like when Scotty stand on business or whatever whatever she call it, it but she had the nerve of her confessional be like her advice is that it's not a fighting show y'all turned it into a fighting show though because it's like all these girls come on here and they just want to fight so it's just like y'all turned it into a fighting show no lie but yeah i want scotty to keep coming back and she gonna continue to be to grow if she not gonna be up natalie ass and she's still gonna be the voice of reason so scotty scotty was actually my favorite this season no lie then when we get to the end natalie it's just like she's about to make the big announcement of who's about to get the chain. So yeah, it's between DTB, Cali, and um Meatball. And before that happens, Rowley says that she feels like Meatball has some mature 
still has some maturing to do on being a baddie but natalie takes a vote on you know who should get the chain and everybody raises their hand for meatball and dtb is just like okay you know i don't know what this obsession with the chain is you know give it the meatball she's been crying for it she's been begging for it and then i feel like it's hella weird that y'all been talking about meatball is being weird towards tink about the chain but y'all giving her the chain and everybody's all upset and blah 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 and then roly gets up and puts the chain around meatball's neck and i was just like girl you just said she has some maturing to do and she don't deserve the chain so y'all really just proved dtv's point that y'all weird and then natalie's just like well i had a second chain but since you wanted to do that and be disgusting i'm not giving it out i'm going on my helicopter and she walks off and then baddie caribbean is over and y'all i really did enjoy doing these recaps i really did enjoy the show i really thought it was hilarious and yeah i'm doing young and reckless i'm doing jocelyn's cabaret and if baddie's midwest comes out and it's fire then I'll do that too, so. In the meantime, oh, and then when the reunion comes out, I'm doing that too, so yeah. But in the meantime, y'all, just make sure that y'all like, comment, subscribe, share, all that. Don't, don't play with it, don't be this size. Hey.